Hello everyone, I'm Mike and today I'm going to go through with you two features of the Olympus TG5 that will help your manual focus. And those two features are manual focus magnification and manual focus peaking. Okay. So today we have our handy dandy little subject, um, just a little fake, fake nudibranch. Um, you can see him in there. We are going to set up the magnification first. Now in order to do that, um, number one, ensure that you're on uh, microscope mode, which is what we do all of our underwater macro shooting on. Go into the menu, so the big menu using this button here. In, you'll see um, icons down the left hand side. Go to the gear and gear A, you will see manual focus assist. And there are two pieces there. So the first one is magnify. Let's turn that on. Okay, half click on the shutter button. That takes us back to uh, magnification. Now if we zoom in, okay, so that's 4x uh, power. And you press OK. And then manual focus, you use the up arrow and the down arrow to change the focus. And you'll see what happens is that it magnifies the area in the center of the view so that you can see where your focus is better. Okay, so in this case, um, we put our focus there. If we want to move our focus away, you push up and you'll see it. Whoops, I moved it too far. You'll see it there. Now the gills are in focus. Okay. Um, but honestly, I don't use the magnification that much because I usually set it, um, I set the manual focus and then I bring it as far close to the, to the lens as I can so that I can fill the shot with the subject. Okay. Um, if you go back into the big menu, go into manual focus assist, um, turn that off. Now I do use peaking a lot. I think I just, normally I just turn it on and I leave it, um, I leave it set. Whoops, let me go back in. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, um, so peaking is now on. If we go back out and we go to gear B, one and go down to the bottom is peaking color. That is what color the peaking will appear at. And then you'll see it on the screen when I do it. It adds a color. So you can add yellow, white, black, red, um, and then back around to yellow. So let's do yellow, okay? Half a click. Now what you'll see here is that as we go down, so we use the quick menu to okay, go into manual focus. And as we move that focus, see we put it on the gills there, you'll see that um, it lights up yellow. If we move it forward to the rhinophores, okay, um, you see something like that. Now the rhinophores are in focus and we can go ahead and take a shot. This also works if we have manual focus set and either we move or the subject moves. See, so subject is back. And as you kind of push the, you fix the length of the focal distance using manual focus. And then as you bring that subject closer, you bring the camera closer to the subject, you can see when that subject is in focus. See, so there is in focus. That is too close. Okay, so the subject is too close to us. And as I back it off, you start to see the peaking there, okay? And so that's how you can tell if that subject is in focus or not. Now, like I said, I usually keep the focus peaking turned on and um, just set the manual focus, set it as close to the lens as I can. And this gives me a little bit of a visual clue when, um, when my picture is actually in focus or at least the pieces of the picture that I wanna be in focus are in focus. All right. Um, so thank you for your time, everybody. Uh, have a nice day and uh, have some happy shooting.